Hi, I'm Chris from Service Channel. And I'm Jill. The Jill and Chris Show. We're with our resident asset management expert at Service Channel, Liam Fahey, and we're diving into some of the most common questions we get from customers. Previously on this video series, we talked about phase one, which is planning your strategy. You can find that video on LinkedIn, and don't forget to follow. The second phase in the book is implementation. <laughs> Liam, as you know, we get a lot of customer questions about asset tagging. What are some of the biggest challenges you see in terms of asset tagging? Well, Jillian, the biggest challenges that I see really come within the details themselves. You need to think about things like the materials uh, that you're putting the tags on, the adhesive that you're using to apply the tags with, the location of the tags themselves. But I think one of the areas that most organizations fault is not doing those recurring audits going back and re-inventorying the assets on a regular basis to make sure that the asset inventory within Service Channel is up to date. Yes, and we can help you navigate some of those. The next question is about providers. How does having all this data on providers change the way that they do work for you? Well, Chris, I think you're talking about what does it mean to have all that asset data on the work order when it's sent to the provider? I think the benefit there is the provider has more insight into the data about the asset before they get on site. This can help them make sure that they they're they prepared with the right parts and materials to fix the problem the first time. Generally, they can fix the asset faster uh, to improve your customer experience if they know about the problem in advance. Yeah, totally. So the next question, I'd like you to cut through some BS. There's a lot of hype out there about connected devices and IoT sensors. What's the real world impact of having all this data streaming from your assets? Chris, I think the real world impact um, is all about improving proactive maintenance and planned maintenance strategies. This allows us to use things like sensors on HVAC units to read proactively the change in temperature and dispatch a technician before it negatively impacts our customer experience. Right, thanks for clarifying that. And thanks for your help, Liam. More to come in the next video in this series. To learn more about implementation and the other phases covered in the ebook, visit servicechannel.com or see the link below in the comments. How does having all this data on providers change the way that they do work for you? Right, totally. <laughs> <laughs> so, sold it. <laughs> nailed, nailed it. Like, nailed it. He's, he's, like, he's here with us. <laughs> he's right there. He's, he's uh, right there. Okay. Careful.